Hello friends, here we are discussing on database management system. Now in last previous video, we discussed what is entity, what is entity set. Now here in this video, we are going to discuss what is mean by attributes and what are the types of attributes. Here we will also going to discuss in details how each attributes or types of attributes are represent into ER diagram. So let's start. Now what is attribute? Now let first understand what is the formal definition of attribute. Now attributes are nothing but the descriptive properties. Now these are nothing but properties which is described. Descriptive that is we are going to describe something which, is, which are owned by each entity of entity set. That is here we are going to describe properties or description of characteristics of each entity which is held in entity set. So there exists some specific domain or set of some values or properties that is we can consider it as a values of each attribute from where the attribute can take its values or it represents data values. That's why it is called as a descriptive properties or descriptive characteristics. So these properties which are described an entity. Or you can refer entity is a piece of data or piece of value which describe or gives the descriptions of an entity. For example, suppose customer is an entity. Now customer can be described or customer characteristics or customer characteristics value can be described like for example, what is customer name, address, what is phone number, etc. One more example like product is an entity. We can describe product by its values like name, price, date, etc. So these are becomes attributes. So each attribute has specific data types such as string, integer or date. Like for example, name can be stored into the string price. It might be into the integer and date is the date data type. So each attributes can have the some data values which represent the descriptions of entity and which hold some specific data types. Now the question is arise why we need to use the attributes. The first use is they help to distinguish one entity from another. Now by using attribute we can distinguish the entity. For example if two customers are there and the two customers having the same name then we can identify each customer separately by their address or by their another identifier number like customer number. So attributes plays important role in making the database searchable. We can search the data like for example if I want to search the customer which is located into the particular zip code I can search it by attribute zip code or I, I can distinguish each entity or from the another entity. That is the use of attribute. Now let consider this diagram. This is the ER diagram. Now ER that is this E entity, E for the entity, the student here, student is the entity and student ID, then address, course, age, student name. These are the description properties of the entity and this oval is nothing but the attribute. So these are the values are nothing but the attributes and it becomes the attributes. Now we are this is the ER diagram or ER representation. Now we are going to translate it this ER into the table tabular form because we are going to store the data into the tabular from form and we are creating some tables. Now tables of each entity. Now for attribute it make a separate column and, and that, that separate columns is connected to a connected to the particular oval shape and it translated into the tab tabular form into the or you can refer it as a relational model and it comes into the table. Now every entity set connected with this table such as every attribute that is every attribute connected into the separate column of the table like student 
having the column like id name date of birth address course course id course name etc now let understand what are the types of attributes now attributes having the types like simple attributes composite attributes single value and multi value attributes and derived attributes so these are the types of attributes now let understand each types of attributes one by one let first understand what is mean by simple attribute now in this diagram this is a student id student entity now the student entity having the student id attribute now what is simple attribute that is it cannot be further divided into sub attribute that is student id is the prime attributes or student id we cannot divide or one more example like student roll number the roll number is a unique or prime we cannot be divide we can identify or employee number employee number is become the identity identification of the employee so simple attributes we cannot be divide further that's why it is called as a simple attribute now let understand what is mean by composite attribute now here in this student entity this is the composite attribute name now here composite means we are made up of two or more simple attributes or these attributes are further divided that is for example uh, student name a student name can be further divided into first name middle name or last name that is one more example that, that is if one student can fill the form so composite attributes that is in, into the form you can fill the each value and it represented by the oval to oval that is the name can be further divided into first name last name so it represented to the oval to oval or one more composite attribute is a person address now address might be further divided into the street address cities what is the state what is the zip code etc so this is the composite attribute which can be divided into two or more simple attribute and it represented to oval to oval now understand what is mean by single value attribute now here in the single value attribute it having the only one value that is it provide the unique identifier or it provide the prime attribute like for example student id student id it it only hold the one single value that's why it is called as a student id or one more attribute of single value is the social security number or pro, or employee number customer number product code this having or this holding the only one single value that's why it is called as a single value attribute now what is mean by multi value attributes now multi value attributes can more than one value like for example course now this course is having the number of courses are available so it becomes the multi value attributes or one more example like email address one person can hold the number of email address or having the multiple emails address or one person can hold two or three phone number so it becomes the multiple or multi value or attributes and it represented by the double oval shape now let understand what is mean by derived attribute now what is derived attribute it based on another attribute that is it depend on another attribute and are not stored directly into the database that is we are not going to store it directly but we derive so store attribute are the data that remain constant that is one attribute is remain constant or fixed for entity instance then the value help in deriving the derived attribute that is we are going to derive the another value let understand it with one example for example here age now here you can see this is the age age is the attribute that is a derived attribute and it can be derived from attribute date of birth now here date of birth is becomes a stored attribute that is it remains the constant because we know that date of birth is the remains the constant or fixed but from this fixed value we can derive the another value that is we can derive the age so this is this age is become the derived attribute and it represented by the dotted line one more example like google map from you by using google map you can you can calculate or you can derive a distance 
So remaining distance can be derived by the two attributes that is it depends on the destination and it depends on the current location or current position. So this becomes the derived attribute. Now this is all about the derived attribute. So attribute is nothing but we are going to represent the characteristics of entity. Attribute can be having the types like simple, composite, single value, multi value and derived value or derived attribute. So this is all about the attribute and attribute types. Now in next video we are going to discuss what is the relationship or what is the entity relationship, entity relationship diagram and what is the role of attributes in that entity relationship diagram, how it represents, what is the degree and what is the cardinality of each entity.